Hi, in this video I'll show you how to convert a water snake T24 ASP trolling motor for use with an ESC controller. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the trolling motor I'm going to be using in this project. It's a water snake ASP T24S which is a 12 volt 24 pound thrust trolling motor. It has two speeds, high and low, in both the forward and reverse direction. So I'll show you quickly how it works. Forward direction on, low speed, high speed, center off, or reverse, low speed, high speed. And this right here is the handle that is spring-loaded by this little plunger down here. So by pulling it out, you can press it back in and pulling down and it'll pop out. And that becomes important when you want to get to the wiring inside the shaft. So there are four screws underneath this top section of the control box. So I'm going to remove those and pop off the top of it so you can see what the wiring looks like inside. I've removed the four screws and popped off the top of the control box and you'll see here this is spring and then this is the handle which was spring loaded and by allowing that to come out you have access to the wiring coming through the shaft. Now, as you'll see here, there's two screws here that are holding in two flat spring-type pieces of metal. And what they're doing is spreading out the wiring in this setup. So what I'm going to do when I start removing all the wiring is just get in here with a screwdriver and pry up those pieces of metal and push them out of the way towards the center of the shaft, which will help release the wiring. And... Let me show you too. You can see all the switches in here that go to it. But the only thing you really need to concern yourself with is the wiring coming out of the shaft, which is a red or positive wire. The blue one, which goes into your directional and speed changing. And then the black, which is the negative coming from the motor. So what you'll do is you can either take photos so you know what everything looks like when you take it apart and remove each one of these connectors or you can just clip the three off and you'll always remember what goes there so I'm going to choose to clip them off and then once I do that and release them so they move around freely I'll continue on alright what I was able to do was move these metal spring like flaps out of the way and then position the three wires coming out of the shaft through the center of the shaft and then push over these flaps out of the way so this wire will move freely and then if you look down inside you're going to see that horizontal bolt that runs through the base of the control box and that attaches this to the shaft so I'm going to remove that bolt and then the whole remainder of the control box base will pop off All right, so the box has been removed, and all you have is the three wires coming out of the shaft. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this three-quarter slip-on to one-half-inch female threaded PVC 90 adapter over the top of the shaft with the wires coming through the front. Okay, so I've put the PVC 90 over the shaft and thread the wires through and this is just to get a fit for it. Now as you can see the shaft is about one inch in diameter so this is going to be a little bit loose so what I'm going to do is just make up the difference in the spacing between the shaft and the PVC by taking some electrical tape and wrapping it on the shaft itself until it has a tight fit. You could also try using silicon if you wanted to do something like that, but 
I want it to be snug and able to be taken off if I have to for some kind of unforeseen issue. Okay, so I wrapped the shaft with some electrical tape to make a snug fit with the PVC-90. And then I also added this PG-13.5 gland nut that I threaded the positive and negative wiring from the trolling motor through. And what I did with the blue wire is I just took some liquid electrical tape and covered the end of it so there wouldn't be any issue with shorting and then pressed it back into the inside of the PVC-90 out of the way. Now all I need to do is connect it to my new control box. I wanted to show you another option you have for controlling the trolling motor with your ESC. You can actually mount it in the head, and I've done that with a Minn Kota, and I'll reference that video in the narrative section. But this ESC will fit either in the top section here, once you remove everything, or you can actually remove the handle here and it'll fit in the bottom section. So you could actually run it either with a radio control or hardwire it to the power source. This is an unboxed view of the ESC. And the body is approximately one and three quarters by one and one quarter by one inch in dimension. And you can see that there are several wires coming out from the body of the ESC. So I'm going to go over what they are. First, you have the red positive and black negative leads, which go to your power supply. And then you're going to see that you have two yellow wires, which are positive, and two blue wires, which are negative. And that's because they're matched up in pairs this is originally meant to run two separate motors, but because I'm only going to run one trolling motor for this ESC, I'm going to combine both the yellow or positive wires together to make one connection and both the blue or negative wires together to make the other connection. And by putting those together, I should be able to run a little bit more amps through the wiring because they'll have a larger diameter. And it also comes with this fan here and the four connecting screws that you attach to the top of the body of the ESC. And it has an on-off switch here, as well as the connector for either your radio control setup or your servo pot setup. And it comes with this manual that shows you what the programming criteria are for this ESC. And when you do program, you'll see right in here, you have your little programming port, if you can just see right in there. And that's also where you plug the fan in after you've programmed your ESC. This is the setup I'll be using to program my ESC with the criteria I want for my project. Now the ESC comes with this programming card and the dark shaded rectangles are the factory default settings and they're divided into programmable items and options. So the first one I'm going to change is item number one which is the running mode and I'm going to change that to option number three which is forward and reverse. Then I'm going to change item number six which is the maximum reverse force and I'm going to choose 100 percent which is option number four. Finally, I'm going to change item number 11, which is the neutral range, and I'm going to select option number 5. Now, this is the programming card I'm going to be using, and the only difference is it calls them items and values instead of items and options, just so there's no mistake when I'm putting this together. And I've got my power supply, the positive and negative, to my battery to power the ESC and so when I turn it on you should see a little red light in there and the programming card plugs into the three prong port that I pointed out earlier and make sure that the negative is facing towards the outside edge of the ESC when you put it together so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and there was that little flash of red in there and here's my programming card so the first item I'm going to change is item number one and I'm going to choose a value of 3. So I'm going to go to the value button here and press it. That's what I want. 
So I'll say OK. Then I'm going to go down to item number six. And I'm going to choose option number four or value number four. And say OK. Finally, I'm going down to item 11. And I'm going to choose value number five. And say OK. Now it's programmed to what I want to use for this project. So I'm just going to turn off the power. Then I'll disconnect everything and I can attach the fan to the top of these cooling fins here and plug it into this port because it'll be ready for use. This is the control box I'm going to be using in this project. Now I did this in a previous video so I will include the link to this build in the narrative section. But the main thing to remember is to use the programming for the water snake that I used in this video and not for the original build of this box. So, inside the box I have my ESC with a potentiometer that I have modified, an on-off switch, a kill switch, and then the connections for both the battery and the motor. This is the test setup for the trolling motor. As you can see, it's on the right-hand side of the screen, and the wiring is coming out from the shaft of the trolling motor, and it's connected to the input or motor input on the control box. And if you look on the right towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see the prop unit. So when I test it, you'll be able to see that prop spin. And in the center is the control box that I've made that I referenced in the other video and I have my LifePo battery all hooked up. So all I need to do now is test it by turning on the box and the unit. Those are the beeps saying it's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and test it. And again, this has the kill switch that I'll pull right now. So everything works as it should, and it's finished so I can complete the wiring. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.